welcome back to our live tutorial happy friday hope everyone have a great friday today we always say keep ourselves really really busy as usual and uh today we're gonna go back with another uh tutorials with four different nails designs and i can't wait to share with all of you today and um, it was so nice, great. Last night we have a live tutorials, and if you have, if you miss it, you can always re watching them. If you are on Facebook, you can watching us on Facebook. Also, you can view a lot of different videos on our YouTube channels as well. So let's go get started with some really cute nails. Today's I want to show you a lot of you were asking and also is one of my clients. I got an opportunity to do her. She's always wanted to do it that and is the using a fusioning. It's really stunning, super easy, simple for all of you who really like want to learn a fusioning, especially with a beginner and always worry about why and um, how comes all your fusioning on the marbling is get um, uh, bleedings and it doesn't look like the way you wanted it. So I am going to using a matte top coat, always using a matte top coat when you are doing a marble look, marble nails. There are so many different ways to do marble nails. Like, um, some marble nails you're using with liquid cream powder, some other techniques you can using it with a marble ink, which is, is can be similar to uh, alcohol ink and um, tinned ink. I think there are a lot of names out there and is also similar to our uh, fusion ink. So I'm going to uh, cure this nails for uh, 60 seconds. Today we want to do some stunning like four different nails today. Do we get one more nail that I don't want that? Thank you. And today we're gonna to go back with the blue theme, which is is color of the years. I'm so excited about this. And hey Quina, hey Corina, how are you? Thank you so much for tuning in. Hope everyone have a great Friday when we keep ourselves busy as well. Thanks so much for sharing. Today we want to take like to the next um, cool different design. So then you get an idea of so many ways to do and it's simple doing um, marble ink. In between uh, the time that we're waiting for our nails can I please get that set seeing that set so this is a look that we did it yesterday and if you miss it you can always be watching them on Facebook as well as on YouTube will be uploaded later um Instagrams only last 24 hours but also we have some short clips that we're gonna post it later as well um, and we're gonna announce the winners for this uh, look with this them um, during a live video or the end of the video so then we can be able to learn so much from I always keep one piece of the paper towers on the side and then the colors I am going to use today is calming and uh, feeling blue you can use one or two is really it's up to you you can use up to like five like or more than that or like even up to 12 or 13 it just matter you layer them so I'm going to do this two together and you see I'm applying the lighter fusioning first. So then if you're doing a lighter because you don't afraid of the dogger going to like really cancel out the lighter. So I'm laying a lighter first and then I will lay the um, dogger later. This is a crystal clear right there. There you go and then crystal clear right there I want it using a uh, calming first and however you want to draw the design it doesn't have to be exact the same as any pattern because later when you do that 
you're gonna draw the look of your veins anyway. Oops, sorry, Instagram, somehow I got off from the camera, but it's right here. Give me one second. If you are on Facebook and then you would like to save these videos, you can. Um, so then can you can rewatch it later. Someone do another layers. It's up to you if you want to do a darker or you just want just lighter. And I usually wait until it's set. Um, I think it just somehow. Okay, great. So I'll let it set a little bit. Usually when I'm doing it all 10 nails, I do it all at once. So then when I go back the first one, usually it's really um, ready for me for the next colors. So said it looks wet is set already because it's actually to another coat I really like these two colors together and so let it set for just another great and next I'm going to using my crystal clear to blend it in. Perfect. And make sure you wipe off a lot of crystal clear before you using it. And I basically, I don't need any other brush only a brush I'm using is a brush from this um, bottle of Crystal Clear. This is amazing. I'm so pleased with this. I'm trying to do a vein, the first main veins here. And wipe up your brush. You see that how much of the blue um, residues it's in my brush before I dip back into my bottles again which crystal clear you don't want to contaminate your crystal clear because if it's just in case you're using other colors like a pink purple or yellow you don't want it to get back into the crystal clears. This is a great, because one of my clients that she loved this blue, she actually get, showed me the picture of really nice with pink and kind of a, um, orange. I'm ready to like create that look for her, but she said, can I do that instead of that? Can I blue blue? I said, sure. So we have like 12 colors of fusion ning and whatever colors you would like to, we can absolutely do a cre recreate the looks of what she's want. So excited about, and it's so easy. And then you just literally see me drawing the veins with the brush. And then no need other fancy brush you can if you want to to do it more detail for that but if you don't have the brush for this then absolutely and it's this is just like when you do fusioning like this make sure you consult with the clients you advise the clients that none of them are going to be identicals they're going to be so cute when you finish but if they're doing it all different like all set of nails there is not going to be identical every single nails which is great because you don't want every single of them are the same because it's supposed to be naturally um different look great if you're happy with this i think i really um like this look now then we're gonna do some i'm gonna do some like a black veins on this one and some gold painting or you can do a go for it as well. Um, I'm gonna grab my black paints there and my twin tip brush. Twin tip brush. Everyone, I'm using a crystal clear. 
tip and tricks jet black I just want if you want to create if you you see if you see me doing others nails I did usually add just the foil on it but then today I am going to share with you some of a different look that you can do the different veins uh, using a gel painting so I'm gonna pick up a little bit of the black gels and gonna give it a little bit and you don't have to be necessarily doing it perfect on this because they're not supposed to it is being like perfect Sorry, Instagram. Can Instagram see? Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you can do it however it works for you and all you prefer. I think it's gonna look good no matter what, with or without the black veins. And then if you like it, you're happy with this, and you're gonna keep this under the LED lamp for about 60 seconds. Great. 60 seconds for that um, jet black, everyone, and then you will add it more, you can't. And I'm gonna go into next, after that, I'm gonna go into the gel painting is Golden Touch. I freaking love this gel painting this color I'm gonna wipe this off and I'll show you how I can clean this brush just in just in the meantime I'm here with you um, give a little uh, a little I'm gonna put the one drop of no white top coat And just swirl wipe. I after I wipe off my brush already, I'm gonna swirl that brush to make sure it's released all the black colors out before I dip my brush into the gold painting. So it's not ruining my brush at all. I have this one a golden touch right in front of me I really like this color because it's so nice and bright and if you are using foil using a foil gel uh, uh, the chance for foil gels you can um, apply that right on the top of A gel painting and here for 30 seconds if you're using a premium I hold chan for foil <coughs> kiss me or um, you keep 60 seconds if you're using a I hold chan for foil then you press the go foil or whatever color the foil you want to on the top and you just need to top coat with that and then the nails it done but this one we're gonna key it one more time as is I add in the gold on the top of black to make it looks like like really dimensional there great here for 60 seconds and top coat so either if you want to do a matte top coat you can do a matte top coat or you can do a shiny top coat is really depend on um, what you would like if you would like to do a matte top coat, you can go ahead and do a matte top coat on. If you want to do a shiny, you can do a shiny. It just really depends on what you would like. I'm so excited. The next um, nails we're going to do is really stunning a different design encapsulating with glitter. I will show you. It's really simple. And super easy to achieve that for a lot of beginners and 
Let me see if I can select some. Uh, I'm gonna wanna do some dramatic glitters. Some. Some butterflies. This is I'm prepared for the next nails. So excited to see everyone today. We have learned so much and so many different designs. Can I please get the nails? There's a look of that. And uh, which one would you like to see? Do you want to see? Hey, Mick, how are you? Hey, Tina Max. Sorry, I was didn't get to see the Instagram. Hey, thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in. Foxy, Loxy, hello. Okay, shiny or matte? You pick. If you pick a matte top coat, we're gonna do a matte top coat. If you want to do a uh, shiny, matte it looks stunning too, as well as shiny. Here's a matte top coat. And here is a shiny top coat. Let me grab a wipe top coat. Matte. Hey, Jennifer, thank you, love. Matt, which is that I got from one of my clients that today, she's such an awesome, and we did a matte top coat on for her. Matt. Mick, you should see, Mika, you should see the set that I finished. There's matte top coat. It looks so stunning. Mika is so talented and she's so passionate about that and I'm so glad, I'm so happy to have her in my team. Mika! All right, here for 60 seconds and this nail gonna be completely done. Just a little black uh, veins will really pull that designs off. So I have a light, light blue or you can do a base as a white, however, um, However, colors in the background you would like to, and we're gonna do these two, two things, uh, two dramatic glitter together. So this really awesome, uh, simple, quick, simple, easy for the clients who want some ombre nails. And if you do liquid gun powder, you can encapsulate it on the nails and cap it with clear. But if you are doing a gel polish on the client's nail, you can do after two coat of gel polish, you wanna apply one layer of uh, condensed glue gel. If your first time using our condensed glue gels, it was um, thick density, which is, is is supposed to be like that, and it's not going anywhere. So I will pick a good generous amount of it, and it depends on the length of the client's nails. If you have a client's have a longer nails, you're probably gonna need more than a just little. But if you have a shorter um, nails for the clients, then you don't have to use a lot because if you're using a lot, just First of all, you're gonna flood a lot of your uh, crystal or your dramatic glitter. So you just need a good amount um, instead of too much. Too much is gonna flood your crystal as well as your glitter. So I'm gonna wipe my brush to get just like, you know, have a little bit of residues of um, condensed glue gel left. So I am going to apply my uh, loose glitter. I freaking love this one because it's so sparkle. You have to see it in person because it's hard for me to show it to you. Also, you can do this and you can mix this with your acrylic as well. It depends on the ratio you want. If you want a lot of glitters and you make less clear, but if you want to do just, just a little hint of glitters and you make it like more clear. Uh, but I like to lay them down using my twin tip brush. You know why? Because all the glitters it stay flat. Because the flatters and it stay nice and flat like this, it will give the most um, uh, sparkle and glitter uh, faster uh, than dipping in or using liquid gun powder. Or it means the acrylic. So everybody have a different way to lay them as well. Is this one of the way I would love to share with you? Let's see, I'd like to pick up some little guys right there. Try to do. And do not afraid of you gonna just like mess around with the glue gel because I lay them really nice, good.
Then I'm gonna just like give it a little bit of dab right there. Just gotta blend it out. Just a little bit. This one is a most um, fun and simple to do with ombre with glitter. I do that with the clients a lot too. When if you don't want to encap it, you can do this way as well. And just lay it like the way you want. And I'm gonna like have a glass key it quick for 30 seconds. Wipe up my brush because I'm going to apply a little um, traumatic glitter. Second nails? No, pretty Nuna. Pretty Nuna, you, um, you don't miss a lot. You just miss one nail, but you can always, you can always review them again. And our story time, so condensed glue gels. I just need a little bit on the layer of it because now you're doing another layer just a little bit okay so i'm gonna do some layer of butterflies two of them at the same time. Great. This one is just a um, option if you want to add it on, but I think I really like that the two color of this butterfly. If I put it closer, you can see a little bit. Great. So I'm gonna key it another thirty seconds. This time you can do either thirty second or you can do a completely full key as sixty second as well. Live brush, you keep smacking your face with your phones. Bless your heart. You are very welcome, Tsunama. She said, I did the green gold marble set inspired by stunning set you did last week. Thank you so much for sharing talented Nancy oh thank you so much it's mean a lot to us especially myself as well as this whole entire team we really appreciate you and I'm so glad that you're enjoying it the live videos every night just keep tuning in for more okay back again I am going to using condensed glue gel to cap completely so I using a little bit more condensed glue gel than the first one I laid the foundations on which is um, because I want to make sure I capped really well all of um, glitter which they are actually not thick at all okay I keep bubbling back and forth because I make sure that every single um, edges because they are not uh, the surface is not even now. You know what? I think the nail is far away, so I don't know if I lay the butterflies right, but I think I did it right. So it's great. So I am going to 
apply one coat of no white top coat floating it on if you want to do a crystal placement right after this is the best time but if you don't want anything you just want to cap this this is actually after you cap it here for 60 seconds and this nail are completely done it is just for the clients like we have some clients that are really conservative at their work they couldn't wear any crystal which is it's okay you can wear glitters and be beautiful and don't have to get crystal it's just this is another option for all of you uh, to know if your clients are working in the medical field they couldn't have the crystal on but then they can still bling their nails with a dramatic glitter how shiny is this okay here for 60 seconds and this nail gonna be completely done you can see that it's staying nice and smooth though. Great. Looks really stunning. Thank you so much, Joey. Foxy, Luxy. Some green nail for St. Patty Day? What today? Today is Friday. I can do tomorrow. I put the note down here tomorrow. Tomorrow we're gonna stay with the theme green. Today we are going to stay with the theme blue and then we're using um, another uh, nails for I think it's color of the year and if you notice that I did this um, mix back a lot and it's still a lot there so I'm going to share with you with the color of the year today as well and uh, we have two more nails some dragon scale oh here's a final look for them for the first nails matte and then second one for this glitter we have two of them already So let's go into um, our color of the year. It's so much fun. I'm gonna do some um, shampoo boy for color of the year. I might get some of the blue nails, uh, uh, blue shampoo boy, and using. Okay, so I have. Question, I'm gonna using the chant for voice. This is I have to keep 60 seconds. It's take a little bit longer time, but I want to show this to you. Hold on. I can do this. Pre, uh, not premium eye holes. This is eye hole chant for four gels. I'm gonna keep it for 60 seconds. Cut a little piece of this foil off from the set right there just a little bit and I took it from this kit there's so many different colors for you to chew from but I only need the blue this time thank you so much everyone thank you so much Joey that blue is stunning. I appreciate you ladies so much. So off subject a little bit. Hope everyone is really doing well. Right back to you to your mugs. You ladies so awesome. Now you get connecting together now. All right. I clinkle it already, so I'm gonna using just a little dab. Just dab, dab, dab. And make it look like an ombre look. Maybe tomorrow I'm gonna do some uh, good chromes. Ah, 
I like that. This is like an ombre effect. Great. We and Nancy both. Okay, so now next we're going to do in condensed blue gels. I'm gonna do some crystal placement for you, lady, using uh, color of the year. If you're first times using crystal placements or you are beginners, you was like really overwhelming what design you should get if you come into the color of the year it's trendy for uh, 2020 you should check out what is um, collectible mix bag it has so many elements in there that you can play with okay I apply really a good generous blending really nicely uh, and tie the nails and I am going to using this one after the no white top coat. Um, this is the matte top coat. This is where the no white top coat. So no white top coat. The floating on the top of uncure condensed glue gels, which is this techniques will help to grab the base of the crystal, stay nice and stuck in the base for a long time, good three to six week at least. And also, after you're done with crystal placement, your uh, nails will be completely done. And then you just accept that you need to double secure with precision glue, but then you don't have to go in, like try to using a brush to go between the crystals and apply the top coat. You might accidentally like polish on the top of your crystal and make your crystal look so dull. It doesn't look shiny again. I still have a lot on my uh, mix bag right here. I'm gonna pull in half in here. I'm doing literally in right in front of you because I would like you to experience that. That's how when I get it, I feel like everyone still able to create. I got a lot of things in here. Ooh, I like that dragon scale. I want one dragon scale first. And then next. Um, how do I get a fun fact of doing all the crystal placement? It's just like really simple. Um, as long as you keep your crystal placement, I mean crystal are stay tight together. Uh, do not afraid of try and check them out. It's all different cool techniques that you're gonna do because you will never know that you did amazing that you always like you always can do that, but then you didn't think that you can do that as well. two tray right here you know just let you know I didn't open the new brand new ones I using it from my kits that I have and I want to show you like from like so many I think I did so many uh, design out of this if you're seeing it because oh nice okay got a lot of different stunning right here I want one more. Right there. And I have a little wax stick on my, but I'm not worried about. I am going to clean it with my alcohol wipe or alcohol. And then here's my bead. Oh, I have it right here. What I'm thinking, I always have to grab my beads. But I already have it right in my um, in my kits, uh, my collectible mix bag. So this is a great, great uh, idea. It's a bag if you want to check it out. It's like just one item. 
you have to, you know, you want to get, just get the mix bag. Pick whatever uh, collectible mix bag you want to see the theme with. And a lot of mix bag will be update so nice now. So when you see some colors, you want to see the picture of it, that uh, your collectible mix bag might be uh, different because they update it even better and better as the, um, I think the trend and the times by that time like was like going to a trendy whatever trendy in the market is so I'm so excited so I at about three beats in each you can do one beat so you can do two beats or three beats so I think it's either way it looks good just extra one I don't want this one and let's see what I got in here. This freaking is stunning. It's still a little bit far away. I can't see it, but. And do are not afraid of to play around with them and challenge your um, skill because you will be amazed to see what you can do with this. Oh, okay. And I freaking love about how the technique do I miss something of this with the condensed gold gel and no white top coat so you can have a plenty of time to work with the products before like they're not even dry until you key it under LED lamp so you don't have to worry about you know put it on and it dry right away I think it's three one do I miss one this maybe extra one I don't think so. So I have one. I'm just so OCD. I can't have it. I have to put it perfect. Either good, perfect, or has nothing. Just kidding. Okay. Maybe something. But also, you can make it really fancy too if you want to with this one looks good maybe you want more and this I can still create a lot with that but I don't want to cover completely of the foil that I have it underneath so I'm gonna put one more one more crystal on this uh, looks good and just a bit I'm using a gold bead. This one have the gold and the silver. Okay, looks great. I'm just thinking of something. One more, right in the middle. It's okay. It fall in the place. I don't want it. Ah. I'm most like okay I'm gonna leave you there but uh, sorry it doesn't look good so I have to say bye bye to you great I'm gonna key here for 60 seconds before that I am going to really double check with that to make sure I have this one stay exact way I wanted it I always double check with the clients after I place the crystal on before I key it because now is the best time if you want to change anything fix anything or adjusting anything but if you cure it's hard for you to do anything else you probably can take it off and do it over but you don't want that okay here I have a lot of them it's a lot of design I want to play with and we'll continue to doing with this mix bag so you can see how many nails you get out of this I usually I separate it into two trays so then I can uh, see it better and it's not overwhelming myself I have more look good Tinamax
magician. <laughs> Foxy, you drop your phone. Brisbane, Australia. You from Brisbane? Awesome. Stephanie from Florida. Oh my goodness. Thank you. I wish I, I, wish I had an eye for crystal placement. You have an idea. You did good. Jo Joanna, thank you so much. Okay, great. So now let's do um, double secure this baby crystals, even though they're little, but sometimes they were catching on the client's hair. We don't want that happen. So I am going to double check like little exam here, like feeling any scratch right here. Then I just squeeze just a little bit. You don't want to squeeze too hard, which is going to have happen that's going to flood your crystals. You don't want that. You just want to blend them nicely. And it's going to feel right in the cracks. And um, uh, can I get the uh, brush? The cracks and the gaps and the edges of the crystal. And go right ahead using a twin tip brush, light brush to blend all of the extra glue gel, which is the precision glue. So when you cure it, after you cure 60 seconds, it's going to look so nice. Oh, actually, and uh, flawless. Here for 60 seconds and this nail are com the nail is completely done. All right. Oh, stick it there. One more nails, everyone. Did you, anyone have a request to see something, something? Oh, where's the red cap though? Oh, I'm panicking for a minute. What make me panicking? Because this red cap, right there. You don't want to lose this because it's going to keep protect my uh, precision glue nicely. Thank you so much, Dynamax. Thank you, ladies. Dust Pixie, we do have blue. Do you want to see that? Oh, it's perfect. We should do Diamond Dust Pixie. Such a great request, Dynamax. And I do have blue. I have so many. And can fulfill your request. Okay, let's do some. Oh, look at that lace. We have her for nails lace. Oh, I like that lace. Let's do some diamond dust pixie. I can do lace tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Let's do some fun diamond dust pixie. And let's see. We have this color looks perfect. Okay. Looks good. So I am going to use um I don't want just doing diamond dust pixie on me. I'm gonna do some designs with that as well. I have the base in white. So condensed glue gel again. Some stunning designs I would like to share. And I am go ahead and apply them completely, cover the nails. And if you are first time using condensed glue gel, do not hesitate to blend them out. Like, I'll, like, just blend them out and do not let them 
sit there and getting really condensed on it just blend them out and they will stay really nicely and next will be a no white top coat lady just show you my nails going out so bad two weeks or three weeks i don't remember i can look at my books but um time for me to change my new nails i'm dying usually i don't wear that long but i want to show you how they are last with me none of them are came off like my nails to stay is not rough or anything at all all right let me do some uh stunning with that designs and i kept let me put some of um a look on that and see how i do some fun look So everyone have a great uh, Friday. That's one I accidentally drop it, so I'm gonna take it off. I don't want this to get. The name of this colors let me see i can find out what's the name of this one Look for you. It's pretty by itself like this. If you feel they are unlike just upside down just give a little shake then just move the tray a little bit it's gonna be perfect you know what even if you don't want anything with them in this pixie this one still looks good the design but I'm gonna sprinkle it in So I'm gonna open this one. Oh my god, yeah, I didn't know until like I didn't I saw that when I get to work, but then now when you mention it, and you are absolutely right. Friday the 13th, I don't know what you're thinking, but it's usually a good day to me. It's really probably a bad day for a lot of people, like if you believe in it, but I'm telling you a story one thing. Uh DN. This is pencil. This is a um, crystal picker. Is is crystal picker? Let me show you right here. I know. Can you see in that crystal picker? So first, uh, one end is um, the wax end to pick a perfect your crystals, and then the other end is a uh, um, is a dot too. And also, if you need to move your crystals, you don't touch this on the glue gel. You're gonna using it to adjusting any of crystal that you need to. So hold this still, and you just need to gentle sprinkle on it. I like that. It's nice because I have a white space on this, so we'll see how it's gonna turn out.
Ooh, the sunning. Tap it to make sure they are stay nice and compact and tight together. And here, after I tap it and make it really close together, and here for 60 seconds, get them tap good together. Uh, you want to hear about the story, it's funny in a way, I just told my staff today, in one of the uh, hospitals that was in Seattle is um, uh, St. Joe's, I think in Seattle, Washington State as well, and they have, um, they build their hospital, they only do a 12th floor and a 14th floor, they do not have a 13th floor, whether you believe it or not, you go into that hospital, they only have a 12th floor, and if you want to go to the 13th floor, it takes you right into the 14th floor. They don't have 13th floor, is that funny? But um, that's how they build, and then they don't want to do a 13th floor. It's kind of creepy, it freaked me out though. If I'm going there, just me. I can't deal with blood. That's why I can't never be a nurse. I will give a lot of respect for a lot of nurses. Also, I have a lot of clients who is a nurse. I'm really appreciate and grateful for that. Um, but I don't know. It's like a freaking thinking about the hospital. There's a bit of blood. I hardly can stand my blood. Um, but everybody different, I guess. So I want, uh, I can use it to extra. I know with everyone, but me, I'm really scared of like looking. Anything related to, um, how do I say it? The white color. Like uh, white blouse or gowns that the doctor wearing it. It's just curious, funny that we're talking about off, off, off subject. I'm always scared. I always, until even I'm older now. I have a phone jar right here. I'm gonna close it. It's just fun facts about me. Uh, that's why I don't care for Halloween day. I love to do beautiful nails for Halloween and fall, but I do not care for like, I don't care for anything related to... For real? Is it really lucky though? Um, that's awesome. Joanne? Jo Joanne? Joanne. Is that how do I say it? Love goats. What's a blossom gel for? The blossom gel, the blossom gel, um, dove nails by auto. So when you go into some of our um, IGTV, okay, let me precision glue first and then I will show you how you can go in. We have so many, we probably did the blossom gel well, last video or last two videos just a couple days ago. I'm going to check on the edges of the nails with this. This has happened that I do on the white nails, but if you have the light blue, it turned out really stunning as well. It just this happened that I have a white background, so I really like it as well. It's like I have a kind of contrast. So I'm using the precision glue to seal into any edges and a gap and a crack of the crystals. But enough, I do not want to uh, flood my crystals or diamond dust pixie. So I am gonna just doing it right in between. And here it for 60 seconds and this nail will completely done. But also if you check with the clients, if you feel like they need it more, then you seal it more. And this one is good. Just doesn't have enough that over the key. So I'm gonna key it for 60 seconds. The 13th, I don't know, it's Friday the 13th, I think it's really a lucky day though. This is the Blossom Gel uh, Dove Nails 
I think this is that's what your question asks is the blossom gel can do it and then also don't uh, remember to check on the our IGTV there's episodes of, of blossom gels and episodes of all different uh, different designs just for your information if any of you want to watching a uh, short clips and then we can create the flowers like that and then create a lot of different look this is one a uh, three hour of the different look though so this one right here and then this one right here great oh this one is similar to the one I'm doing it with the pink uh, with the blue yes don't forget to check it out or on YouTube the full tutorial as well it's really simple you lay it on the top I love that freaking like uh, blossom gel it helps so much for doing your marble gels and also Vicky Jensen has a lot of that uh, idea on that design as well and also Sarah I could get lost in those books really up. great so then we have four of the nails done today so fabulous and if you have any question regarding to the products or order anything you can always uh, email us at info at .com. you can also call us regarding to the class uh, coming up in Ann Arbor's and we have just few seat left and also that we have um, all the information for the class for the products you can always call us at 206-771-5086 and also you can um, view more information for the class in Ann Arbor it really details uh, on our uh, website link in the bio at glitz accessory and such and also if you are local here in Pensacola you can get the precision glue and any other products from our distributor local distributor is at nailcohosale.com well that is on their website but you can a local here you can pick it up at the nail co wholesale nails company uh, in Pensacola also if you are really far away and you're not local and if you want to get your precision glue really quick and fast fast in your hand in two days you can always shop at Amazon and if you have your Amazon Prime you can shop you can shop it and get it free delivery to free shipping to your door in two days literally they are faster than us with us getting to you in two or three business day Amazon will get you really good in like two business day so you can find it from our local distributor Nailco also you can get it is on our uh, official websites glitz assessing and such link in the bio you can get, also get precision glue from our Amazon Prime so however it's whatever convenience for you and um, if you have questions just let me know absolutely all right everyone let's get back to this it's so stunning it's so fun yesterday and then all of this um, sticker will be available it's online really soon and I am going to share with you that the great I love this stunning design so I got the notes right here the team thank you so much lady thank you thank you appreciate it um, the names of this theme for yesterday which is Thursday yes. the name is butterfly is the name is butter flowers, flowers. butterflies flowers and the inter Instagram is no, 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 no. Uh, Facebook. for Facebook Names so for Beatrice Jimenez Jimenez Beatrice if you are here please don't forget to DM us your first and last name and your shipping address so we can ship you a dual 3d brush which is you're gonna get this dual I freaking love this it's one of my favorites brush for 3d and a 40 butter flowers not butterfly flap, butterflowers. Thank you so much, everyone. Sorry, Instagram. Instagram is out. Sorry, an hour. 
So I'm going to go back right back now. Thank you so much. What cup pencil are you using? Hey, Sarah, how are you, Sarah? I'm going to put it right here. Anyone have any questions? Because I'm going back with my um, IG now. And I'm going back with my IG. I can answer any questions that you would like to know about the products. Thank you so much everyone for tuning back in you just um we just finished with our live tutorial and announced the winner hi beba hello how are you foxy loxy divine thanks so much for tuning in the winner is beatrice um gemini's and the, the name of the theme that she got name is really beautiful name is butter flowers Congratulations to Beatrice and thank you so much everyone for participating and help us to name the theme. Uh, Tina Marks, the best where the best place to order to the UK. Uh, when you shop on the U uh, from UK, you can always um, shop direct from our website. It's ship we ship uh, international to Namax. If you are know exactly what you want, you can order direct, and it ship really good and fast too. So, any question for me, Sarah? How are you, sweetie? Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm so excited. I can't wait to see you in two weeks. Two weeks, Sarah. We're so excited. We are working really hard to prepare for our class. And everybody, make sure you take good care of yourself. And then we're definitely going to see you in two weeks. Excited. Oh, absolutely. Foxy Loxy. We love it. We love have you ladies participate. And we love, because it's, you know, if, even not, if, one for you we wouldn't be here. So this is for all of you. Uh, sweet. Can I DM, uh, DM you as I have trouble getting this site and about treasure box? Absolutely. You can, you know, I'll just send us a DM. Uh, DM us with information for that. Absolutely, live brass. My really pleasure. I can't wait to like really want you know one of this day meet, meet everyone and new ladies and um the shows maybe in the trick shows of the class lucky girl would you have to go to one of our uk class we will definitely We definitely uh, one of this day. Uh, just keep crushing. Thanks so much, you know, Max. Just yes, you can DM us anytime regarding to the questions for the class and uh, order. We'll be here. I have Foxy Luxy Lucky Girl. Foxy Luxy, let me. I totally miss. Where are you? Because earlier I was so focused on the live videos, I didn't get to read where you're like, I get to see you from lady, lady from uh, Australia and you from UK. What? I missed whole entire good part. Let's see. Anyone have any questions? If you have a question about the products and have a question about the techniques, any questions. If you do not have any questions, I will definitely see you tomorrow night on Saturday night. So I want to see you Saturday night and I hope I can bring you some really cool stunning every single night. Something that you can learn. And also if you have questions, don't hesitate to ask. Because if you don't say anything, you um, don't ask and I don't know what I can share with you. 
、uh, Central Coast Australia. Oh, welcome! Hey, Nancy, how are you? Yanni, nail therapies by Arlene. See you tomorrow night. Absolutely, I will definitely see you tomorrow night, ladies. And congratulations to the winners. Every single night we're doing, we're gonna announce winners. So then we're gonna have the theme for tonight. So then I will share with all of you、um, that designs. And then when the team posts it up, you can name it and have fun and good luck, everyone. In the meantime, the team working so hard for that thirty thousand follower giveaways. Stay tuned. I will definitely see you tomorrow. Bye, ladies. I love you, family. Thanks so much for popping in in like a last minute. We'll definitely see you tomorrow. Jay, now thanks so much for joy, and don't forget to rewatching them if you have a minute. You know, so then you can see a different technique. So I will see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye bye.